As someone who basically never saw any weather changes in my hometown, I'm from Mexico, a small city called Tampico, it's either extremely hot, hot, or mildly hot whenever it's like fall, winter over there. So whenever I moved here to Texas, granted, we don't get as much difference also in seasons. It's definitely better than what it was back home. So I get super excited whenever the fall rolls around, even though it's still extremely hot outside. I think right now we're almost like 30 degrees uh, Celsius, which I don't know what the temperature is in Fahrenheit. So we're 31 degrees right now. It's pretty hot, but nonetheless, I love fall and I love everything around fall, including makeup, of course. So today we're gonna be talking about some of my favorite fall lipsticks or what of course I would consider fall lipsticks. Makeup is very relative and anyone can wear any color year round that has nothing to do with seasons. But you know, there's always something about fall that I personally want to pull out my more mauve maybe more brownish, nudie lipsticks. So those are the ones we're gonna be talking about today. Before we get into it, please be sure to subscribe. It definitely helps my channel a lot. Uh, all you need to do is hit the little subscribe button down below. It would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel. So before we also get into it, this is going to be the first of three videos. So when I was pulling out my lipsticks and you know checking my collection, I realized I have a lot of this more fall-ish lipsticks so i decided to break it down in three different categories one of them is going to be my favorite top favorite between two brands of lipsticks which is of course lisa eldridge so i have back there all my lisa eldridge lipsticks so it's going to be one specific for that and then of course one specific for miss charlotte tilbury so i've got those two videos coming up so definitely subscribe so you don't miss those but for today, we're going to be covering the majority of Merit, a few Rare Beauty, one Hourglass, and possibly one NYX. So let's get right into it because we've got a lot of lipstick to talk about. To save my lips a lot of pain, I'm not going to be swatching all of them on my lips, but I will be swatching them all of my, on my arm or my hand, and a good chunk of them is going to be on my lips. So let's begin with Merit, just because it is the lipstick that I'm wearing right now. Um, one of my favorites actually from this bunch and probably just in general from my collection and that is 1990 by Merit. So this is the epitome to me of like fall makeup. Like whenever I'm thinking of fall lipsticks, this definitely is one on the very top of my mind and that is because it is this beautiful... It looks pretty dark on the bullet, but once on your lips, it's this stunning, perfect everyday brown. And I say everyday because of course, any lip color is perfect for everyday. We're talking more really about like fall lipsticks, but keep in mind that any color, of course, it's perfect for whenever you decide to wear. So I'm gonna add a little bit extra. Also, by the way, on my lips, I also have a lip liner, and this is one of my favorites for year round, but specifically for fall. And this is uh, the NYX Suede line, and the shade is called London. So I have that already and this lipstick, but I'm gonna add a little bit extra so you can see it uh, swatched. So here we go, just a tad more. Super comfortable formula. I think this is going to be my favorite uh, satin formula that I own. Very stunning, very soft and easy to apply. So here is 1990 by Merit. Go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand. I'm always so bad at this swatching. So here is 1990 on my hand and of course on my lips, stunning lipstick. Now let's move on with the remaining three Merit lipsticks that I have. So for the next one, I've got a more nudie -ish, I don't know, this is definitely a nude lipstick, but you can tell it is nude, but at the same time, brown. So that's why I decided to pick it for the more fall lipstick. So let me show it to you here side by side to 1990. So you can see how that brown is very much um, in this lipstick. So here is 19, I'm sorry, 1990 and then slip. So nude, brown, very pretty. And this is more like an actual just brown lipstick. I am not going to be swatching uh, slip on my lips because I feel like it's going to be a little 
too light for what I already have on my lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it here on my hand next to 1990. I'm gonna probably go here. So I am never a good person to swatch lipsticks. I'm the worst. But let me show them to you side by side. So here is Slip. Definitely on the lighter side, especially compared to 1990. So both of them. And here is next to my lips. So you kind of like can compare a little bit what the shade looks like next to the lips. Another stunner from Merit, we've got Fashion. So this is definitely more on the almost purpley side. So whenever I think of purple lipstick, in my mind is the kind of lipstick that I like to wear more during the fall and winter. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it also in the back of my hand. I'm reserving my lips for a couple more that I wanna swatch, including the last one from Mary that I'll show you in a second. But here is Fashion. It's more on the brighter side, but because of that purple undertone, you can clearly see it right there on the swatch. To me, or in my eyes, and the kind of makeup and lipstick I like to wear, I would definitely pull this more during the fall and winter. So here we've got Slip. 1990 and fashion and here is fashion next to my lips which of course i have 1990 on right now lastly to wrap up married lipsticks i've got this very beautiful vampy darker more mute at the same time muted red and to me this is kind of like a mix between a red and a brown it is so perfect for fall and this is le avenue so let me show you real quick the lipstick. So you can definitely see that brown mixing in there with that stunning, darker, more moody red. It kind of looks a little bit like my nails now that I'm looking at it on the viewfinder. So I did take off my lipstick 1990 so I could swatch this one. Definitely one of my favorites also from the collection. It's hard to pick my favorite to be completely honest. But I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on the lips. And... And here is Le Avenue on the lips. As you can tell, although it's still red, it has that little bit of brown running through it. So I think it's definitely perfect for fall. Let me go ahead and swatch it here in the back of my hand so you can see how it compares to the others. My hands are so bony, so it also creates it very hard to be able to swatch. So here we got Slip 1990 uh, Fashion and Le Avenue. So I feel like it looks lighter here on the swatch than it is on my lips. I feel like on my lips it just transforms to like a very much more moody, much darker red lip. How stunning is this lipstick, honestly? Mary definitely has a great selection of lipsticks in general, but for like the fall, winter, these are my favorite. So now we are down to the four last lipsticks and I've got Two from Rare Beauty and then one from Hourglass and one from NYX. I had to make sure that all of these are still available and they are. So yay, let's move on with... Let's do NYX because it's the only drugstore that I have in this bunch. So this is one of their soft matte lip creams. I used to have a ton of them but I've slowly decluttered them. This one is Berlin. So as you can tell on the packaging it is of course, you know, a brown lipstick or... I don't want to call this a liquid lipstick because it's really not. It's still like a lipstick, but in a more liquid formula, but not drying. So this one, I'm just going to swatch it here in the back of my hand. And I'm going to swatch it under slip. So you can see that very pretty brown that this has. This is a beautiful lipstick and I like to wear this a lot, especially on the winter. But of course, you know, fall is also perfect. So here is this very pretty brown from NYX. Unfortunately, this is the only one that I really have drugstore. I don't own a lot of drugstore makeup in general. And this is an old one, but definitely a good one. Look at how pretty that color is. So this would be one of those very pretty, um, very simple makeup if you wanna do like a very minimal eye makeup, maybe just some mascara, very lightweight um, products on your cheeks and then throw this for a lot of impact and more drama, I think this would be perfect. Let's move on to the last two lip products. And I say lip products because this next one is not really a lipstick. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on the lips. It is the most beautiful, comfortable, formula for like a lip oil. I do own a few others from Merit, 
but uh, the shades that I have for Merit are more in my eyes, more like everyday or really more spring, summer. So not included in the list, but they're also a very good formula. But Rare Beauty, I've got this one in the shade Nearly Neutral. And this is like a, it's described in the website, I think like as a pink uh, nude. But for me, it's more like a nude, uh, like a nude brown. So I removed the... Um, uh, the lipstick that I had to Avenue, and this is kind of like just my natural lip color so let's go ahead and just swatch this real quick you can see that brownish that this lipstick provides or that this lip oil provides to my lips one way that I really like to incorporate this is as either by itself but usually I'll add it like as a topper almost like not really like a lip gloss but like a lip gloss kind of product when I'm wearing one of these lipsticks, especially 1990 and slip. I feel like it gives or provides this very pretty, almost glossy look, but keeping my uh, my lips super hydrated. So here it is with nothing but uh, a little bit of lip balm that I'm using in between swatches just to save my lips. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it in the back of my hand. Very pretty color and honestly, formula is absolutely delicious on the lips. It feels very hydrating. So it's almost nude, I feel like, whenever you're swatching it. So you can see it right there. But clearly on my lips, this provides a bit of a tint, but like a very nude, very light brown. So again, perfect for fall. And to finish up this list, we have one of my favorite colors in general. This I like to wear year round, but there's something about the rusty orange shade that of course screams fall. And the last one is also from Rare Beauty. And this is the shade Brave. This is, I would consider, very much a dupe of the NYX. So if you want a more affordable, very similar formula to this ones, I would encourage you to pick one of these uh, NYX lipsticks or lip creams. Very comfortable on the lips as well because they dry almost like a matte lipstick. Like, like a, almost like a matte lip, but not like a liquid lipstick. So you get that sort of like creaminess on the lips, but you do get a matte lip. So I'm trying to clean up my lip from the oil. And um, I'm not gonna add anything. It's just, they're getting a little bit red. So we're gonna finish up wrapping the video with uh, Brave from Rare Beauty. Very pretty shade. Let me go ahead and swatch it real quick on the back of my hand so I can show you. How stunning is that? And it definitely looks more brighter there, but on my lips, it's going to be more rusty. So let's go ahead and swatch. Look at how pretty. How stunning is this lipstick? If you are looking for probably one like actual fall, like if you think of like rusty shades and like, you know, leaves changing to orange. I mean, come on, you cannot get any more fall, kind of like stereotype fall than this lipstick. Super stunning and very comfy on the lips, which is my number one thing that I now look for in lipsticks. I cannot wear anything that's too drying on my lips. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found this useful. Maybe if you're looking for a new fall lipstick to add to your collection, or if you have any of this, let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts? Are you like me that you also think like, okay, during fall, winter, spring, summer, I like to switch my makeup around or my lipsticks? Let me know in the comments below. And like always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I will be filming a couple more, not only the ones that I mentioned, like fall lipsticks from different brands, but also we've got some uh, kind of like fashion items that I've, that I've added to my closet or wardrobe for the fall and winter. So I've got that coming. I've got, I'm going to be uh, also filming a bit of a kind of like styling video Rhonda suggested this video. So Rhonda, thank you so much. I did post on my community tab a little question of like, let me know what you want to see. So Rhonda suggested some kind of like styling. So I'm going to be doing that probably with some of the pieces that I added to my wardrobe. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, like always, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.